guys, I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph's Dough. And today, we're gonna to be making a spinach salad. And this spinach salad is gonna be full of flavor, um, good fruit, and just mm, delicious to take anywhere. So, with that being said, let's get ready and make our salad. To get our salad started, we're gonna start with an entire bag of spinach. And this is pre-washed, so I do not have to go and wash it. In my bowl here. I'll loosen that down. And to our salad, we are going to go in and we are going to add some pecans. And this is about three fourths of a cup of pecans to it. So this is going to be a ooh, tasty, tasty salad. And from our pecans, then we're gonna go add some red onion. And I'm just gonna guesstimate in this. I don't want a whole lot, so that's probably about a fourth of a cup of red onions, just to give it a little bite. And then to this, we are gonna go in and add some mandarin oranges. And I'm gonna use um, about half of a can right here. It's just mandarin oranges. And I'll reserve the other half. Just gonna put around. I like the colors that are in this. It's really pretty. And a little bit more. That'll be about half my can. If you had a smaller can, of course, you just use the entire can. It's already looking very pretty. And then to this, we're gonna also come in and add a package of blackberries. It out. See that? They're pretty. Pretty, pretty. And then, on top of this, as if it isn't good enough already, we are going to add three fourths of a cup, or about um, a little more than half of a package of crumbled. Oh, get the top so you can see it. Feta cheese. Gonna do it with my hand and work it out. It's a big piece. I'm gonna try to break it in half. Doesn't that look great? Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now, after we've made our salad, then we're gonna come in and we are gonna make our dressing for it. All right. To make our dressing, I'm gonna mix this up in just a little jelly jar here, so I can shake it easily. And we are going to come in and we are going to add a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. I got this from Blue Ridge on my last trip. This is super good. any of it and then we are going to add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and the olive oil I bought infused olive oil and this is butter flavor again got this at the olive oil store in Blue Ridge so if you ever get an opportunity to go there mm, it is wonderful Two. They have all kind of flavors that you can get it infused with. It's just wonderful. Good, good stuff. All right, and to this, we are gonna go add in one tablespoon, I'll have to get my little shaker off here, of poppy seeds. Try to wipe this out a little bit. Got the oil still in there. I'm add a tablespoon poppy seeds. not to worry if they're stuck there. The next thing we add, it's just gonna wipe it right off, so it's no big deal. And then I'm gonna come in and add a tablespoon and a half of honey. Can we measure this? Can't get a little good grip on my bear here. There's one, I'm just gonna guesstimate a half. Get all that 
and thin this out. Anytime you're dealing with anything sticky and you can, I just didn't this time. You can always spray your measuring cups and everything will just slide right out. Just for the sake of being quick, I didn't. And then to this, we're also going to add a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Teaspoon of kosher salt and get that out. Get my kosher salt over here. And an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm just going to half my fourth. together and shake it up. Look at that pretty color. After you shake it up, open it and then give it a taste. Does it need anything? I think I might add just a little touch more of Dijon to mine. Give it another shake. Taste it. Mmm, perfect. And I'm going to gently pour it over my salad. Mix it together for a beautiful and refreshing spinach salad. I'm Stephanie and this is Steph Stove where today we made an amazing spinach salad that mm, looks just delicious. I can't wait to jump into it. So remember we're making memories one dish at a time and if you do make this please drop me a comment and let me know where you're watching from and how yours turned out. I do hope you enjoy.